Alright, so in this tutorial we're going to go over creating alert views and we're going to create a button that will take us to a different view. So the first part that we're going to do is we're going to create an alert just to see what that would look like. So this is the exact same program from the last tutorial. We're just going to add something to it this time. So just going to hit enter and then we're going to create an alert. So we're going to use the class UI alert view and just out of convenience and so it makes sense we're going to name it alert view equals so then we're going to create brackets and back brackets because we're going to allocate it and then initialize it and basically what that means is we're effectively creating memory space that Xcode is going to assign for alert view to become a part of so the way to do this is we're going to say UI alert view alloc Right, and then we're done with the first bracket, and then we're going to go into the second one, and we're going to use a special kind of init, init with title, and this is for the alert view. So the first one is going to be the actual title of it, so we can just name this title, right? Then the next one is going to be a message, so this is going to be underneath, underneath the title, basically explaining explaining why there's an error. So we could just say, for example there was an error and then id so this is the delegate we're just gonna make it self because that's you can you can try other things but for now just it's best just to keep it as self and then this is the cancel button so this is gonna close and then other button titles now there are two things we could do this with this we can either make it so nothing happens or so that something will happen or you just there's two buttons on it for no reason and since we don't want two buttons on it and we want it to be kind of a decent program we're going to name it null right so that means nothing is happening and then we're going to put in our semicolon so now we've defined alert view and as you can see from this this error unused variable so how do we show this variable well it's pretty simple we're going to do use two brackets then we're going to use the name of what we created show and that's it. That's all you need to do this. Alright, loading. Da 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 da. Alright, so hello world. So we put this in hello self button. So just to show you, hello world, still nothing happens. Hello self. Title, there was an error. So that's all we wanted to do, and we did it. Awesome. So now let's cha change the entire view, right? So this is going to be a little more complicated but overall pretty easy so I'm gonna change it to single and I'm gonna open the left tab and then I'm going to go to the nib file alright so I'm just gonna create an entire new thing right and this is gonna be we're just gonna start from a brand new page and then I'm gonna close this open this and I'm gonna create another button and this button is gonna be called go to another page I'm going to create a label that says says this is another page and this is there so that way we know that we actually switched pages and things just didn't go awry alright so now we have to actually define these so that way that we can use them alright and actually we're going to put a button here and this is going to be called go back alright so first I'm going to define the actual page. So this is the new view. It's going to be an outlet because actions are going to be done to it. And we're going to name this second page outlet. All right. And since we're not doing anything with this label right now, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to make the go back button do something. So we're going to go id action and it's going to be called second page to main page. All right. And now we need to create the next action called and then we're going to make this an action again and this is going to be called main page to second page and that's all that is okay so now we actually have to code it which is actually fairly simple even though a lot of a lot of tutorials and a lot of things make it out to be this really overly complicated thing alright so as you can see Xcode has already created this for us so now we just have to do it so how do we actually make the view go from one thing to another? 
So it's actually fairly simple. A lot of the tutorials when you when I googled this gave me really confusing answers. The books that I read didn't really give me what I wanted to see basically when I'm using the nib file because all they're doing is they're creating the views by themselves and defining the views by themselves and they're not using the nib file. So this is all you have to do. You have to write self because you're affecting itself. Dot view equals equals um oh what is it? It's gonna be yeah self main page. There it is. Self and since we're going to the main page, it's gonna be main page. No wrong. And this can be. Ah, this is bad. My apologies, self. Yeah, I was right. Self. Oh, I know what the issue is. So, I made a mistake, but it's easily remediable. Easy to fix. So, I'm going to go back to this one, and I'm going to do self.view equals self, because I didn't create an outlet for the... Um, for the main page, right? So that's the issue right now. So I'm going to make second page outlet. And this will work, okay? So now just to fix this real quick, my apologies. We're going to go here. We're going to put it right there just that way. It looks good. And we're going to do main page outlet. All right. And that should fix this. My apologies once again. Close this. And these two comma signs, or not comma, backslash signs are basically a way to comment out. Another way to comment out is this, but this will comment out until you've done this. And that will create an entire comment section. Now, comments are really useful for coding, but because I'm talking you through this, you don't actually, and it's just for yourself, you don't have to comment it unless you think you're not going to remember it. And as a general rule, you should comment, though main page outlet alright and that's all it is so now we're gonna run it to make sure this works which 90 100 percent sure this should work so this is a weird bug that I don't know why it happened but I'll fix it in a second we can just go to the other thing but as you can see this is taking us between pages hello world page and then second page this is another page and that's all there really is to it. And it, and just to fix, just to be, make sure this is all right, we're just going to put this down here. I accidentally press Command T. Command T is a really useful tool in Xcode. It allows you to have different things up. So say I just want the nib file with this up, and I don't want this to be here, right? But then I can be here, and this will have completely different settings. And I can make this, this. It's a really useful tool. It's really nice. And the more programming you do, it, the more you'll start using it. And now you see that this is formatted out well. And that's just like sometimes these nib files can be a little weird at times. So, as a general rule, I would recommend that you don't use nib files. But when you're just starting out, like we are here, I think it's a good way to get used to Xcode and the format and all that stuff with it right so the next program I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be going over we may be doing something simple like making it so that way these buttons so instead of just changing the text overall we'll make it into one and two we'll make two buttons that are one two and those numbers will add to each other so it'll be one two one two so if I click this imagine it's two two would show up and then if I clicked it again two twos would show up then two threes and then if I click this it'd be two threes and then a one and then I would have a clear button an example of this is right here and it's add text it would be something like this and then there'd be a clear button so that's what we'll probably go over next it's fairly simple programming just there's a little learning curve in figuring out how to actually keep this portion right here after you do this and then this and then this and this and eventually you'll find that it just keeps going and then the clear button is also a really simple technique. So um, that's all I have for today. I'm not sure when the next tutorial will be out, but whenever it is out, I hope you guys enjoy it and goodbye.